Good evening, friends. Coming to you for a little midweek update. Hope you all are uh, enjoying the sunshine of a nice bright Wednesday and um, the warmth that comes with it. Uh, we had a, a great close on Sunday to four weeks of celebration for Gary and Vicki and have uh, just really happy that we were able to do that so well and the church celebrate them in such a good fashion. Uh, I know that you know, it would have been nice for hundreds of us to all be in the same place at once, but stretching it out over the month did allow so many of us to uh, to be in the space and uh, and many other ways to connect with them. Thank you so much for the cards you sent and the many ways that um, you as a church helped send Gary and Vicki off. Uh, you may have seen an email this week, Partners in Ministry. It's that time of year. You remember... This is something we do, and it may be that you've done it so many times that you're that you think, "Hey, I'm I'm partnered out." Hopefully not, uh, but it's it is one of the best ways for you to communicate to the nominating committee your areas of interest. And so, as we, and maybe more important than ever, as we seek to uh, serve in a variety of ways in the church, it's a great avenue for you to to tell the nominating committee, "Hey, I think I might be interested in uh, working in the." Uh, Children's Sunday School, or uh, the music ministry, or the a mission team, and you know that if you check that you're interested, it doesn't mean that you're um, you know you're chained to that idea. It's just saying I'm interested, and so it helps the nominating committee and uh, connect. It'll connect uh, leaders of different ministry areas, ministers, and mission teams uh, to you, and give you give you access to that conversation where you can decide if it is a good fit. So to do that, that's on the website. So if you'll go to the church website, it's right near the top, Partners in Ministry, more information here. If you'll go to that link, you'll be able to just quickly fill out information. If you, have, if you see things you have questions about, the descriptions of the various things are there as well. So um, help a church out. Fill out your Partners in Ministry form, all right? And uh, our, our nominating committee is going to be uh, really looking forward to hearing from those. Uh, right beside that link on the web page is the worship registration, and uh, we've got we have plenty of spaces this week. So if you want to uh, hop in, we're able to inch up a little bit on our room capacity. So um, don't hesitate to go to the web page, or if, if you're not a web page person, give us a call. We'll help you sign up uh, so that you can register for in-person worship this week. Um, you're going to get me. I'm uh, Bill Owen will be with us in a couple of weeks, but this Sunday I'll be preaching. Uh, so I'm looking forward to, uh, uh, to sharing that time with you. So I hope you'll join me in person or online if you can't be in the room. And as I mentioned, uh, Dr. Owen, Bill Owen, is, has begun work with us and will be in person uh, beginning preaching uh, in two weeks, so on the 14th, uh, March 14th. And so we look forward to him joining us and filling our pulpit and uh, leading the transition process, working with our transition team and helping facilitate that. Uh, a few updates on the prayer list. Jim Garland is our only member that remains hospitalized. You, you may remember Jim's in Huntsville, but let's remember Jim and Natalie. And these days it's been um, a long journey for Jim. And we did have news of a couple of, of members who've lost uh, family members this week. So let's remember Courtney Pittman and Rachel West as they lost their father this week and Renee Van Giesen who lost her mother. So let's remember Renee and her family as well as you pray. Um, coming up, well, not necessarily after me, Gary's not behind me today to, uh, to, uh, to talk to you, but remember we do have the a Lenten series underway. So attached in in one way or another, on this email that you're getting with this link, you'll see a link to our Lenten series. And that LaRue is teaching that in person on Mondays. So you can always join us in person on Monday mornings at 1030. But that link will be there if you haven't been able to take that in. Uh, a, great, a great study that you can be a part of. Jesus' guide for today's disciples. So uh, we're two weeks in and a great start. And um, hope you'll take advantage of that. One last note uh, as related to our Lenten season. We have the prayer walk. I've mentioned a couple times, but now the weather's very enticing. So don't forget about it. Uh, great weather, beautiful hilltop come up here and uh, the, the prayer walk is uh, lined uh, near the prayer garden. So you can enter 
in the direction of prayer garden and uh, take part in our Lenten prayer walk. Well, I felt like it was a lot to say and maybe way too fast, but you can always watch it again if you missed it. So hope you had a great day and I look forward to seeing you Sunday or whenever the next time is that we're sharing space. Have a good one.